Hello, it's me from Books or Brain Food. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of how I display my books in my room and I hope you enjoy. So this is how it turned out, I'm really happy with it. You know when you have a vision and it gets executed so perfectly, it's so satisfying. And I really love this, I can't stop looking at it. This is a book ladder I bought off of Amazon. It was quite cheap and easy to build with absolutely no help at all. Thank you dad. I wanted it to showcase my interests, so there's some books and photography and travel in there. This is my classic shelf. I wanted to pair them with my camera because they're all in the same sort of colour scheme. I would die for these little matching penguin men. I left my Polaroid at pre-drinks in February and because of lockdown I haven't got it back until now, so excited to get some photos for the summertime. I used this copy of Jane Eyre for my dissertation and I bought the picture of Dorian Gray in Shakespeare and Company in Paris when I was there. I still haven't read this but I loved The Night Circus when I was a teenager so hopefully this is the same kind of thing. Letters from Lori sent me this from Bookstagram and it's so gorgeous and this is part of a birthday present got to me by my friend Laura who's a really good artist. So these are some books I've read recently or I'm planning to in the future. The ones with arrows mean there's a review on my blog and the link is in the bio. I loved Americana and it's my most recent review so you can check that out if you want. This National Geographic book was a gift from my boyfriend's parents and if you know me I love a good map. Here's some places that I would like me and Kyle to go together. And my parents got me this print for my birthday and I just hung some Denam ivy over the top of it to decorate it. On to the next bit, which is my drawer area. I love how everyone thought this mug was a merch drop, I promise it's not. I bought this tote bag when we were interviewing in Prague because I was so bored of all my clothes by that point in the trip, I wanted to make them feel sort of new again. I tried to colour coordinate these books, I don't have enough books to do one of those big book rainbows, so this is what my version of it looks like. I read Mrs Dalloway but I could not tell you one thing that happened in it. And this is my school copy of The Great Gatsby which I probably should have given back. If you want to have an existential crisis, read Sapiens. <laughs> These books all feature dangerous women, but they're actually really good books and I would like to make a video about them soon. Please don't think I'm bad to my books, this Frankenstein is an ex-library copy. Finally, here's my salt lamp that I may or may not have charged under the supermoon. And on that note, that's really it. I really hope you enjoyed this, I love these kinds of videos. If you want to see more book content, you can follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, or just subscribe below and I'll hopefully put out more videos soon. Thank you!